when you look at all these different traditions and teachings and practices and so forth, they may sound and look so complicated, but in fact, they're all very simple. You know, they're all about working with our mind, you know, this mind. Because a mind is our most precious and valuable resource, isn't it? Because through this mind, we experience every single moment of our life, right? It is actually a very important resource. And this is the mind that we depend upon, heavily depend upon, and rely on this mind for us to be happy. And we rely on this mind for us to be emotionally stable. Emotionally stable. Is that oxymoron? <laughs> <laughs> and I've heard this word when you type that emotionally stable. Every time I hear that, I'm thinking, hmm. it's very interesting, emotionally and stable. And there's a point. Emotionally stable. We rely on this mind for us to be emotionally stable. Uh, we rely on this mind for us to be kind. Right? Thoughtful. And we remind on this mind to be successful. Isn't it? Successful at our work, successful in our relationship, successful in our whole journey. Right? We are heavily relying on this mind. And we are relying on this mind to be Spontaneous, right? We're sitting there with a pen and paper and want to write a nice poetry. And we're relying on this mind to perform spontaneously, right? Creativity, intelligence, everything. We rely on this mind. Everything we do. We're heavily relying on this mind. Mind has been actually our greatest resource, valuable resource. Yet at the same time, we have not been taking care of this mind. Right? We have not been taking care of this mind. We have not taken out any time to attend to this mind, usually. In fact, we spend more time to take care of our crappy car. <laughs>